haven't had a briefing as yet. I do intend to see the Prime Minister later on this evening uh, in relation to the ongoing discussions. Obviously, we are very concerned about the sort of uh, narrative that has built up uh, around the Prime Minister's proposal. It certainly doesn't appear that we would be able to support it because uh, it breaches the red line in terms of having differences between Northern Ireland and the rest of the United Kingdom. In terms of regulation, uh, obviously we would still be in the Customs Union as well, uh, and uh, we cannot have that. We want to see the text for ourselves. We will make our own judgments. We will not be led by anyone else. That has always been our position and will certainly not be led by the Irish Government, who have sought throughout this process to be the aggressive uh, people in the process and not looking for a solution. The Prime Minister has been very clear in relation to our position uh, right throughout the process. And just to be clear, we then wrote to her on the 1st of November setting out uh, the position. So if she decides to go against that, if she decides to go against herself, because on many, many occasions she has stood up in this very place and said that she will not break up the United Kingdom, there will be no difference between Northern Ireland and the rest of the United Kingdom. If she decides to go against all of that, then there will be consequences. Of course there will be consequences. And we could not as unionists support a deal that broke up the United Kingdom. I'm looking forward to meeting uh, the Prime Minister later on today and when we meet the Prime Minister hopefully we will see the text and hopefully we'll get some clarity in relation to these matters. And